Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA here. And today we've got a Dan Wesson for you. This is a relatively new Dan Wesson to me. This is the Dan Wesson Vigil Commander Size. So it's got the shorter slide with the full size frame. It holds 8 plus 1, so you can go with 9. If you've got the hammer back and you carry a condition 1 with the safety on. Or of course, hammer down, then you'll just have to cock it back when you're ready to fire. Could always do it that way. Again, on these 1911s, guys, if you're gonna decock it, if you will, hammer off, point it in a very safe direction, and riding the hammer home all the way, nice and slow and safe. Always point your gun in a safe direction if you're gonna do anything like that. Just something to consider. Always safe here on the table, guys. We double and triple check before we go to camera. This particular Dan Wesson Commander is sporting lock grips on it. This is a beautiful pair of blue and black lock grips. These are the Ridgebacks. If you're looking for them for your particular 1911, you want to add some color, texture, and better use when you're shooting your pistol at the range. These really locked in well while we were shooting them. The ammo is supplied by Elite Performance Ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is their 45 ACP ammo, 230 grain, traveling at 850 feet per second and 369 foot-pounds. So guys, this specific Vigil Commander that we are reviewing here is chambered in 45 ACP. They also offer this model in 9mm. We shot about 300 rounds of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition through this 1911 during our review. Alright guys, the Dan Wesson Vigil Commander. We're using Elander 1911 magazines. Here we go. down. Another Elander. These grips just feel outstanding along with the texture on the back strap and front strap on this Dan Watson. This Dan Wesson Commander is definitely a 1911 with carry in mind, so a CCW type 1911. This Dan Wesson Commander comes in at 30.5 ounces, so 30 and a half ounces. It is perfect for CCW if you don't mind the added size of the full length of the grip. Again, you get an extra round or two with that. And of course, that adds to the overall shootability of the pistol, having a full size grip to get that combat grip on the pistol. And then also a very well fitted beaver tail safety. Terrific fitting on that beaver tail right there. And that aids in the protection of your hand when you're shooting the pistol. The pistol itself has an excellent safety on it for right handers only on this. No mistaking when it's on or off. And again, when you're firing a 1911, I always recommend that you ride that thumb over the safety and you fire the pistol in this way. You felt the last round leave the follower, didn't you? I thought. So this Dan Wesson Vigil comes with some stock wood grips that are seen right here. And you'll be able to see a picture of that. You can notice that the texturing on those grips themselves is not all around the grip, which is why I think I like these 
from lock grips a little bit better. And also they're wood, so they're not as durable as G10. And this Dan Wesson, like all Dan Wessons, come with a match grade barrel. This Dan Wesson is like many semi-custom 1911s from Dan Wesson, just machined perfectly. The fit is fantastic. And like I said before, everything is forged on it. There are no mem or cast parts as opposed to many other 1911 makers. Still very dirty from our range trip. You can see the crown of the barrel right there. As I mentioned before, this barrel is a match grade barrel and you can tell how the crown of the barrel is recessed to match up perfectly with the barrel bushing. Very nice quality right there. It has a very tight frame to slide fit with no movement whatsoever. And all of these Dan Wessons are hand fitted to make sure that it makes for a perfect ownership experience and that you're very proud of your 1911. And that's after they're precisely machined. So these Dan Wessons just have tight tolerances. They're just built to the highest standard. It's truly amazing the quality on these pistols. The front strap checkering here is 25 lines per inch. Kind of showed that off a little bit earlier. So very well done on this 25 line per inch front strap checkering. And as you go around the pistol here, it continues on the rounded mainspring housing. So the butt of it is rounded off for concealed carry. So it's not a square cut mainspring, as you can see in the back back there. It's got a slight rounding right here and a little bit of beveling for the mag. Remember, this is a carry piece, not a show gun or a competition gun. This thing is accurate. This Dan Wesson, like all Dan Wessons, as far as I know, is a Series 70. There's a lot of folks that only want Series 70s. They don't want the Series 80. This is a Series 70. If you're not sure what the difference is, go ahead and look it up. It'll tell you in detail. But a lot of it has to do with that trigger feel of the 1911. Fantastic. It's incredibly good. It is K-style and it's the medium length, so it's not a short trigger, which I know we prefer. Dan Wesson tries to set them around four pounds, they say, and I always find them to be, to feel at least, just slightly under that, um, with a very crisp trigger and a great reset. So you're gonna get all of that in a Dan Wesson 1911. Stock Dan Wesson magazine. Let's go single hand. And last mag. Stock Dan Wesson mag. Shoots perfect, man. Yep. And it likes those Elander magazines. Yep, both the stock mags and the Elander mags are running fantastic. Good deal. The finish on this Dan Wesson is the black duty finish. We find it highly durable and an excellent finish in all the Dan Wesson products that we have so far. The trigger is awesome, as I mentioned before. It does have a nice high cut back here behind the trigger well, so you can get up into that pistol for that great grip. And then right here is a raised magazine release. 
so it is extended for easier use and reach. And this Dan Wesson, the commander size, has the 4.25 inch barrel, which as we said before is match grade. The Dan Wesson Visual Commander has a night sight up front and a solid blacked out rear. The rear sight is fully serrated to reduce glare. It also has a ledge on it to rack the pistol if need be. Which is another great thing to have on a CCW handgun, guys. Just very well done. The pistol was very well sorted out and it gives you just about everything you could possibly want for a CCW. This one may be a little bit larger than some of the smaller 1911 variants that you can get, but I think it also aids in control of some of that 45 ACP recoil if you go that direction. You are gonna notice if you're shooting it in 45 ACP that you have a little bit more recoil, but that will not be the case if you're shooting it in nine millimeter. I imagine it's gonna be tremendously smooth in nine millimeter, and I believe both 45 ACP and nine millimeter comes in at a pretty incredible price of $1,298. So $1,298 is what this Dan Wesson will set you back. It is one of their more entry level 1911s, but it is not skipping on the quality of the firearm, which is what some people get concerned about when you start saving a lot of money buying a 1911. This thing is just beautiful and it shoots wonderfully. Nine millimeter or 45 ACP, your choice. Hold, go. Can you guys see the blending of that feed ramp in there? Amazing job by Dan Wesson. Here we go. Can run this thing hard, fast. And last mag, another Elander. <laughs> this thing is just a ten. What an awesome pistol. This is the commander version of the Vigil, guys. It is a little bit lighter, something to keep in mind. You're dealing with a touch more felt recoil in my hand. The uh, grips from lockgrips.com, I do believe is really benefiting me. I feel like my hand's locked into it. Anyway, back to the tabletop. These are the two magazines that come with this Dan Wesson Vigil. Very high quality. They were 100% just like the pistol was. The magazines are eight rounders. Speaking of the pistol, we fired over 300 rounds of 45 ACP during the shooting test of this gun, and it was 100%, not one malfunction. And young Beretta shot it quite quickly at one point in time. So just love the gun. It's a great one. Highly recommend this to you guys if you're gonna be getting a 1911 for 1200 and some dollars. This one is hard to pass up. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and support us on Patreon for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.